like a boss. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. It's just for some reason it froze. It's weird. Um, all right, look, ladies, this is a subject. <laughs> this whole week, my mind has been absolutely blown. All right. And this subject is about embracing your masculinity, right? In order to make him chase, right? Through, through having a feminine front, which is natural to you, and having an undertone of masculinity. Ladies and gentlemen, in everything in life, this is the perfect mix for anything. Being who you are with an undertone of your opposite, all right? Oh, God, this is going to be so much fun making this video today. All right, give me one second. Let me make sure everything is like all in ready. Okay. All right. Look, ladies, well, the first thing you have to realize is that as human beings, we're all born complete, all right? We are all born complete. There's no such thing as a child who's feminine and masculine. Now, genetically speaking, we may have preferences, right? Like you may have, but generally, naturally, we're all born complete. And we all have many sides of us that want to come out, particularly the sides that are contradicting to our main character, which is for you, feminine or me, masculine. And particularly those parts that are contradicting inside of us is also goes against society. So you also get backlash. And as a result, those qualities that only come when you express your opposite sex in like your opposite sex energy, quote unquote, which you're feminine. So it means you're masculine. It's drummed out by society because when you, when you really think about it, children, boys are sensitive when they're young, right? And as they grow older, they become drummed out by society. Females, females are naturally adventurous and willful creatures and they love to transform their environment, but it gets drummed out as they grow older. See, that's why women naturally, they just want to control shit and change. That's hard. That's hard. My fault. Sorry. Um, so as we grow older, we conform to standards and suppress the sides that the people around us doesn't want to have. And as a result, it, it's not that you suppress it on the outside, but inside you suppress it. So boys, as a result, they lose their ability to feel different range of emotions. Unless you are raised by a single mother and you're able to feel those emotions, but not in a positive way. You feel ranges of emotions as a form of trauma, not as a form of you expressing your personality. It's a whole nother different subject, people. My God in heaven, have mercy. I love this subject. And women lose their ability to explore and their assertive side is tamped down by society. Right. And what tends to happen is that when that part of our personality comes, becomes drummed down, the voice that comes with that personality, the, your, the, the character of who you are also dies, but it never really goes away. It just becomes suppressed and it comes out in toxic masculinity in me. And in women, it comes out in toxic mass femininity, which for women is, which for women is when they combine their feminine side and try to be masculine as a form to defend themselves rather as an expression of their character. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have a lot of women who try to be masculine as a result of them being abused by a partner or something like that. But that masculinity of theirs is repulsive as opposed to natural masculinity that came default in your DNA. That part is attractive, but that part is contradicting to who you show in, in person and to what society demands from you. Truly powerful, right? Okay, we're not done. So we, as a result, we notice this loss in our character. We notice that we, the thing is, as you go older, you don't notice that you are almost like everyone else, right? You think you're unique, right? But then you encounter a person who's unrepressed. You encounter a person who has integrated all of the sides of their personality. And through contrast, you're able to self-reflect upon your own limited range of, of personality that has been suppressed. You feel your own suppression through seeing the difference in this person's freedom of movement. How do we know this? We see this in many different, by the way, people, um, by the way, people, don't forget to, um, to hit the subscribe button. Let me put this right here. <laughs> don't forget to, uh, one second. What the fuck is this at? Uh, there you go. Don't forget to hit. these videos are coming out and i have a seminar in new york city october 26th and 27th about this subject <laughs> oh my god it's about this subject oh my god the excitement is unbelievable man um okay 
this is what it is when you're on, when you're on your purpose, man. It, it excites you, okay? Um, so as a result, we lose that part. So when you see somebody, and I could put myself in, in as an example, to be honest with you, because when I was younger, like, I had a sensitive side to me, right? Quote, unquote. It was because I was a little bitch, right? I used to, my, I, when I was a Christian, they taught me in Christian school not to fight back. <laughs> the fuck? They taught me to 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 always forgive. Get the fuck out of here. Some people don't deserve some people don't deserve to be forgiven. And as a result, you develop a feminine side, not because it's my personality, but as a defense mechanism. Right? Women then develop a masculine side, not as a, an expression of the personality, but as a defense mechanism. Right? That's not what we want. We want an, a complete expression of your personality, right? So what you got to do is, is get a hold of the mid, you know how you have, you have short, sh short range shots from basketball, hitting, shooting the basketball at the rim, and you have long range shots, shooting the basketball 30 feet away. What you want to embrace is your mid range shots, the middle parts of your personality, the parts that are not masculine or feminine, right? Because naturally you go to the extreme to fit the role, right? If you're a woman, you try to be feminine to the guy you date. So you'll suck his dick a little bit more. You try to be that perfect woman. But inside of you, you feel a certain aggressive side that wants to come out. And it'll only come out once it's over. Once it hits a pinnacle point. What you want to do is learn to embrace that side despite the person you're around. That's why I tell you ladies. Sorry, I'm pointing. That's why I tell you ladies to do the things that I say. Keep the distance. Don't text that much. That's a masculine thing. Like, like, like the whole thing of being in the outcome independent, the whole thing of, of, of keeping a distance, it's a masculine energy. It's because it's, men are more isolated. Women are more, are more with, with society, right? They're more like, like social. So, so I tell you guys to be yourself, but have a hint of masculinity in how you text. Sending, when you text, you don't send ha ha ha, you know, that like, hey, ha ha ha. No, it's more hey, right? But in person, you could be yourself, but in text, you have coldness you text in the more masculine way right as opposed to how women text it ha ha's and lol's right that's why i tell you this right and also when i tell you about like um all right so so i'm getting getting ahead of myself right so what you want to do then is if you're somebody who's emotionally hard you want to get in touch with your soft side of your character if you're somebody who's emotionally strong you want to get in touch with your hard side of your i mean with your soft side for example me i could say that when I was learning game and just getting better with women, I was embracing the masculine. And 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 I could and, and as a result, I was banging the women, don't get me wrong, but they were leaving. I was only having sex with them once and they would leave. But I started embracing the feminine side, right? I started to try to understand them. I started to um, tell them what they want to hear, right? I started to just, just being a good per not, not being a good person, but how can I say this? But but stepping out of my head and learning to see how they think. You know, you see what I'm saying? The ability to, to think inside a person's head is, is empathy. It's more of a female, a feminine trait. You see what I'm saying? Narcissism, it's, it's associated to men. Think of myself. You see? So as a result, I was able to think in a woman's head, understand what she wants and provide it. And all of a sudden, they're staying. Right? It was because I was able to embrace that feminine side. It, it, the problem wasn't more masculinity. No, more masculinity is fucking horrible. It could turn into abuse. What I needed was a little bit of femininity, right? So what happened? Now I'm doing this, I do R, and so I like to think that I've integrated some parts of that part, character. Not all, but some parts, right? What you want to do is get in touch with that part. But how do you do it? One, do the opposite of whenever, whenever a situation arises and you normally do one thing, do the opposite. If somebody yells at you and you normally agree with them, do the opposite. If somebody is trying to sell you something and you normally listen to them, do the opposite as an exercise. As an exercise. You see what I'm saying? The next thing that, for, so for example, if you normally attack when you defend, attack. If you normally attack, if you normally defend rather than attack, attack. Yeah, sorry about that, right? Or for example, um, if I'm normally working 10 hours straight, take breaks. You see, so, so you see, so, so it's kind of like if you're, if you're, if you're naturally somebody who, for example, with women is that they like, they have a lot of interest, right? Women are more like they, they, they scatter their interests, right? Men are more like focused on something, right? It's not a, it's not a good or bad. What the, because men are so focused on something, they become myopic and their creativity becomes stale over time because they're not expanding onto other subjects. Women then, they don't really master something because they're, they don't really focus on one thing. So it's kind of like both of them, if they want them to reach mastery, they got to embrace it. 
they gotta embrace an undertone of each part. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about that in the course. That's gonna be fun, right? So when you if you normally respond fast, respond slow, and vice versa, right? So in a relationship, if you normally say no more often, say yes. If you normally say yes a lot, say no more often, right? Particularly with guys that you like. Do the opposite. And this is what I, I tell you guys. I, I tell you this a lot, man. Like, like, and also, <laughs> sense the kind of projection that the guy's putting on you. For example, a lot of women, like, for example, like a lot of women think that eating dirty and farting, all that shit is not a feminine thing, right? Ah, that's true, right? But the thing is, is that you you have to stop trying to live up to what went, but got, what men see and think as feminine. Now, I'm not telling you to be masculine just to just to show off to the guys i'm not telling you to be masculine just to show the guy that you are strong see then you're going to overreact you're not going to listen to the situation right it's, it's like you're just trying to prove a point and, and and the situation might not might not need that and you might just go overboard right you know how guys talk to you and you can sense when they're telling you a line like hey man did you drop from the sky right and you're like dude like that doesn't that doesn't go with the moment, right? As opposed to if you actually fall and you're like, damn girl, you just fell from the sky, right? It falls. But because you're just rehearsing a line, because you just wanna act masculine, what you say is gonna be met with resistance, right? What you gotta do is go with the moment. You see what I'm saying? Go with the moment. And not try to be masculine for the point of it. Try to be try to be more assertive. Stop trying to have this image of masculine. No, no, no. There's natural aggression inside of you. There are times when you say, I wish I would not say yes. There are times when you said, I don't want to do this. Tap into that. S embrace that inner side. Tap into your inner father or your inner, which is, which is like, like I have an inner mother. The females have an inner father. You got to tap into that. And that inner father is, a, is an assertive energy. You got to embrace it. Whenever you feel cowardly, take a deep breath and go and do the opposite. Right, so when you, I'm telling you, ladies, what well, if you do this, you may not see results now, but over the long run, by embracing your masculine, you, you, in a healthy way, in a conscious, healthy way, you're gonna see people are gonna begin noticing and treating you differently. For example, if you're a woman, you normally talk loud and all that stuff. Learn to call, talk, talk a little bit more slow and relax. I'm telling you, man. It's like, for example, with me, I used to talk loud and blah blah blah. blah. You go watch my other videos, like my old old ones. You'll notice, right? What I learned is that if I talk more calmly and more relaxed, people pay attention to me more and they and they respect me more. And you know what? I believe that. I, I truly do believe that. And I truly do believe that it's it's actually a quality of my videos that I lacked and that I have now, right? That calm energy, right? That's more feminine. You could call that feminine, right? It depends, right? But <laughs> if you guys want to know more about this, read the book, The Laws of Human Nature. I, I don't act like I know everything myself, right? I'm not a genius, right? But what I do do, you see, that's math, that's feminine right there, right? Most guys will not admit that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, like, like most guys won't admit that that other people help them. The feminine side of me allows me to tell you guys, hey, motherfuckers, I learned this through reading Robert Greene's book. And, and a lot of people might think, wow, that means people won't respect you, won't listen to you. No, in fact, people still listen. They'll know I'm I'm telling you about Robert Greene, but they listen because if I'm open enough to 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 put this information out there, that means that 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 almost anything like how can I say this? It just means that they're they're listening to a source that's open, right? Because there's a lot of people who act like they they discover something by themselves when they really didn't. I don't blame them. Nothing wrong with that to be honest with you. It is what it is. It's just human nature, right? But that is a masculine trait. For example, with guys, I'll tell guys embracing your femininity means asking for help. It means, the, for example, with me, my feminine side was when I was younger, um, I used to, um, how can I say this? I used to, um, I, I, I was always into asking for help, right? And, and, and you know what? That trait actually helped me, right? Because I was raised by a single mother and, and, and I always looked at her asking for help, right? And so as a result, I was like, you know what? I could do that, right? And, and because of me asking for help and reading books, I'm like, I'm getting helped by reading this book. That's why a lot of women read self-help books. That's why spiritual books are big, because women women are honest enough to accept their flaws, right? It's 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 truly it's truly something that that hinders men as well, because men then like act like they. It's it's a subject that I I just find absolutely fascinating to me, to be honest with you. Um, and I it's I wanted to make this video for you guys today. I did I did a lot of notes today, um, but it's it's something that I'm gonna put in my on my course and on my seminar in two weeks because. 
to me, this is like mind blown, at least to me, right? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, ladies. Um, and again, it's all about doing the opposite, right? When you normally shut up, talk, right? When if you're if you if if you if you sense if you if you think yourself as somebody who's nice, if you think yourself as somebody who's nice, learn to 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 assert more assertiveness in your life. Notice the moments in life when you when people normally push you or when you feel passive, and just make a conscious effort to go the other way. Don't go to jail though. Put the knife down. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying controlled aggression, right? Controlled aggression. And that also leads to good negotiation, all that, all that sort of stuff. Truly powerful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and um, I'm going to make more of, it, more, more of these videos in the next coming few days. We're going to be talking about embracing your dark side tomorrow. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is going to be so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Oops. All right, ladies, take care and you have, have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, ladies. So this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for and it's the psychological game of attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30 day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you, you need to understand that dating is a game you need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break that and just a few things of why people love each other you know it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation after that we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship they and they all go in these three phases and these phases could overlap each other at times right the first phase is the pre-honeymoon period it is when you first know the person or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy or it is when you guys broke up or and are back together or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other and now you guys want to rekindle things this works in any point of the relationship that that you need to spark interest and curiosity so these videos are specific for that specific to create curiosity, how to get to know the guy the right way, using your non-verbals, how to create a powerful reputation. It's, it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff. After that is the honeymoon period. This honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection. So all of these videos are specifically geared to that. Not the 30, no, no, no. These specific videos are there for this phase. And this phase is any phase. You guys are having a good, happy, happy moment. You guys just got back together, and now you get, you feel that peak. You feel that that happiness that you guys felt. That's what this is, right? So these videos are there for that. Creating a lonely fantasy, the preemptive breakup, the triangle of love, using words to control his man. It's, it's powerful stuff. After that is the post honeymoon period, and again, is 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 a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created. So if you're, if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos. And, and, and if you, and, and all you got to do is just say, all right, where am I? I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is a, the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, the term manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside